is it worth buying Zainerba Pharmaceuticals stock? And what do you need to know before investing in companies like this? Zainerba is close to getting approval for its cannabidiol-based drug for the treatment for some rare nerve diseases, such as Fragile X Syndrome, Autism Spectrum Disorder, and 22Q Deletion Syndrome. All of these diseases are rare or near rare and have no cure. There are only treatments that help minimize the symptom of the condition. And the company's lead product Zygel is a cannabidiol gel currently being evaluated for these diseases. Investing in such companies involves very high risks. These companies don't have any profit, which is why they survive only on investors' money, periodically announcing new public offerings. If you look at the history of shares outstanding, you can see they increase all the time. The company simply creates new stocks and sells them to earn money to continue the research and survive. So the shares that you buy lose value until the company finally receives approval for its product and starts making money. Many regulatory barriers must be overcome to bring quality drugs to the market. Ultimate success is not guaranteed here and you certainly need to be prepared for the fact that this process can be very long. The product must be efficient, the product must not have any serious side effects. And even if the product gets approved, sometimes it just doesn't have commercial success. This is why investing in these small pharmaceutical companies often feels like a high risk and certain bet. If everything is fine, the product is efficient, gets approved and has commercial success, the shares will grow many many times. But if something goes wrong, the shares can also go down many many times. There are many companies like this and only very few of them get succeed. But it's still possible to make money on the stocks. Everyone decides themselves to invest or not. And even if you want to invest in these companies, it should be a tiny percent of your portfolio. Because the chances to lose money on these stocks are too high. The company's market capitalization is 100 million dollars, total company's cash is 75 million dollars and average annual loss is 40 million million dollars. Which means the company can survive about two years without new public offerings. The company doesn't have any debt, so basically it survives only on the public offerings. According to the forecasts, the company will not become profitable in the next three years, so new public offerings are inevitable. And considering that market capitalization is getting lower and lower, new public offerings will hit hard the investors. I always hope these companies yet succeed, because if they do, it's good for everyone, for the company, for the investors, and for the patients. But if they don't, everyone loses. And which is also important is that companies like this have higher chances to get succeed if they have higher market capitalization, if more investors bring money to them, which is why it sometimes becomes self-fulfilling forecast. If investors believe in this company, they buy the stock, the company easily gets funding from public offerings and has higher chances to survive. Investors don't believe in the company, the company is out of funds and fails. Well, it's not how exactly it works, but you get the idea. Thank you for listening.